getting the show started. Uh, but Trevor, where are you? Trevor, where's my co-host? Let me uh, send some texts. Let me see if his wife knows where he is at. Ah! <laughs> Trevor's dead. Oh my god. I can't run this show without Trevor. Uh I'll tell you what, I'll just call Blake up and uh hey we'll we'll just have him on instead. Alright. Yes. The answer is yes. Hey, we got, uh, Blake made it, uh, Trevor died, uh, so we had to, uh-oh. Oh, we already did that. Uh, <laughs> drink. <laughs> Trevor's dead. So Blake, uh, one of my best friends in the whole world, decided to come. Here is the co-host Cam. Check it out. <laughs> Technical difficulties? Oh, big time. Wow, we'd lost all audio. Uh, anyways, uh, maybe we're back. I don't know. Uh. Um, so anyways, Blake is uh, in a band called Trout Mouth, and uh, we used to be in a band. So we are still are. It's not dead yet. Tom Hanks together. Never going to die. Uh, never going to die. Uh, we'll keep that going um, when things uh, ease out. Tonight, uh, we have a special guest, and uh, we have Alex... Lagoda from Ukraine. Uh, well, he's a Ukrainian folk musician. Uh, also, a, he lo a connoisseur of metal as well and uh, plays a lot of genres. Tonight, he's going to be playing some uh, Ukrainian music. Before we get started, though, we have to talk about the uh, drinking the game. Let's go over this. How's that sound, Bill? Is it still sounding good? All right. Tonight's drinking game brought to you by World's Best Show. This show. Uh, if there's a technical error, drink! If there's a wrong cam switch, drink! If someone says, whoa! Drink! If we learn something new about Ukraine, drink! If you see and hear shredding, drink! And you're gonna hear some farts, drink! There we go, those are the baseline rules. Let us know if audio Woo! needs to come up or down. Let's talk to Alex for a little bit here. Alex, thank you for coming on episode three, Empire of Excellence. Uh, we did not script anything in advance, and we have no idea what's going to happen in this show. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, we'll find out what's going to happen here. Alex, uh, where are you originally from? Uh, from Ukraine, uh, Vinnytsia, which is in the center, south, south central Ukraine. Excellent. Hey, guess what? What's that? I just learned something new about Ukraine. Hey, drink. <laughs> Brother. Um, <sighs> How did you end up in Harrisonburg? I know it's a, it's kind of a, a tunnel of diversity coming down from D.C. area, and there's a lot of different types of uh, communities here. How did you end up here? Well, my family came over here in uh, 1990. We moved out of Ukraine right before the fall of the Soviet Union, and the way we got here was uh, refugee status, uh, religious refugees, and the Mennonite community uh, took us in, and um, yeah, and been here ever since. Excellent. The Mennonite community takes in a lot of like refugee people, right? Yes, they do. I, I the, the Mennonites. The I do like the Mennonites. Uh, I appreciate a lot of stuff they do. They're good. A lot of them are good people. <laughs> Never say that again, please. Drink, <laughs> drink. Okay. Someone lies to you. Drink. <laughs> that, 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 a lot of them are good people. Yeah, that that phrase has been spoiled, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, 
tell us about what, what you're doing tonight. What, uh, so we have you on the show. Uh, Blake uh, introduced me to you. Uh, Blake plays in a band with you, of course. Um, and uh, you, you decided to prepare something for the show. Can you explain to us what, what it's going to look like tonight? Yeah, I'm just going to play the bandura, and I'm going to talk about Ukrainian music and culture and a little bit of geography as well. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm going to queue up this PowerPoint you prepared, and uh, let's see. Let's go back to slide one. Um, did you want to start talking about Ukraine, or did you want to um, start performing? I'll, just, I'll give uh, it to you now. I'll jump right in and play a, an instrumental tune here that I composed. It's called uh, Spring Dance, and it's sort of loosely based on uh, a number of Ukrainian spring dances kind of jumbled together, but really it's, it's my own thing. So here it goes. <laughs> said it's called a bandura this is uh the unmistakable sound of the wheat rustling in the wind uh, it's uh ukraine's uh unique instrument national instrument and it's typically played by the ukrainian kozaks um, and many of the songs uh they deal with uh kozak heroes um historical events, and one thing that they often deal with a lot is a lost love and where the Kozak goes somewhere far away because he has to fight in a war and he leaves his sweetheart behind and she cries and all this and that and carries on. And um, the next song that I'd like to play is called The Kozak Went Over the Danube, and it's about a Kozak, he's going away, and his sweetheart is crying, but he says, don't cry. I'll come back with honor and glory. That is, if I don't get killed. And uh, <laughs> she says, better not to have loved, better not to have dated, better not to have met than to leave and forget. Ooh. So, wow. This is the song. The Kozak went over the Danube. <clears throat> Козак задумай с 
сказав дівчина, прощай, ти коню мій вороненький неси та гуляй. Пусти, пусти, мій козаче, твоя дівчинонька плаче, на кого ти покидаєш, тільки подумай. Білих ручок не ламай, а снегочок не стирай, ти додому зі слабою мене дочекай. Луч був, луч був, не любить, луч був, луч був, не ходить, луч був, луч був, та й не знає, чи тепер, чи тепер забувай. Луч був, луч був, не любить, луч був, луч був, не ходить, луч був, луч був, та й не знає, чи тепер, чи тепер забувай. Вийшла ручки, заловивши, і чаженько заплакавши, на кого ти покидаєш, тільки подумай. Білих ручок не ламай, ясних очок не стирай, Ти додому зі славою мене дочекай. Лучбо, лучбо не любить, лучбо, лучбо не ходить, Лучбо, лучбо та й не знає, чи тепер, чи тепер забувай. Лучбо, лучбо не любить, лучбо, лучбо не ходить, Лучбо, лучбо та й не знає, чи тепер, чи тепер забувай. Веснув козак на коня, оставайся здорова, Як не згину, то вернуся через три года. Лучбо, лучбо не любить, лучбо, лучбо не ходить, Лучбо, лучбо та й не знає, чи тепер, чи тепер забувай. Лучбо, лучбо не любить, лучбо, лучбо не ходить, Лучбо, лучбо та й не знає, чи тепер, чи тепер забувай. to the, uh, here we go, back to the PowerPoint. Here we go, so let me rewind. Okay, so we were here. Okay, great. Um, and so the bandura was played uh, by the Kozaks and especially by a, a type of Kozak called a Kobzar. And those guys were itinerant traveling musicians. And most of the time, oh, sorry. Uh, they were, sorry. Oh, by the way, I'll, I'll get to the... Okay, so we're just sort of improvising. I'm forgetting the whole thing. Here we go. Uh, oh, that's fine. No, we'll do... Yeah. Is this where N- we Next were? one. <laughs> Drink! Drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to play the bundle right here. Uh, so, as you see, our flag is uh, the yellow and blue banner. And if you go to the next one, you see what it's based on. Uh, golden oh. wheat fields under a blue sky. Very oh, simple. New. Just learned something new. <laughs> but the next song that I'd like to go to is based on that region of Crimea. So I told you guys how the Kobzar, as a, a traveling uh, musician in Ukraine, was typically blind. Well, here is how the story about the Kobzar happened. So uh, this song is called, I would take the bandura and play what I know. And the, the, the young man is talking about how he went down to Crimea uh, to rescue his sweetheart who had been captured by the enemy and is about to be sold into slavery over the Black Sea to some land far, far away. And he's unsuccessful. In fact, he's captured by the enemy and he has his eyes gouged out mm. and he's thrown in a dungeon. And he survives and the Cossacks raid the city. They set all the captives free. And he escapes, now being blind, back to his homeland, to Ukraine. But his sweetheart is long gone, and he could not rescue her. And uh, he could not have any job uh, except to learn how to play the bandura and to be a blind, itinerant uh, musician. And he survives in the Kozaks. Rate. Technical error. <laughs> Drink. Um, and so... He, in the verses, he says, Down in Crimea, where the sun shines so brightly on the white rocks, 
There my sweetheart looks longingly into the distance waiting for me. And he says, but alas, I could, alas, <laughs> because of those brown eyes, I have become a Bandurist. For those brown eyes, I would give my soul. And some people, when they hear the song, they think it's a love song, and he's sort of a Van Morrison type thing, right? But <laughs> in fact, it's a uh, type thing where he's talking about his own brown eyes, you know, because he's been blinded. And many people think he's singing about a, a brown-eyed girl, but I'm sort of bursting their bubble now and saying this song is much more depressing than what you think. Um, That's how we like them around yes, here. Yes, sir. We, and, we uh, love our brown eyes over here. Yeah, and then he also says... Because of that young lady, I have become a bandurist. Uh, and people think, oh, because he wanted to impress her, so he learned how to play an instrument. Or because she didn't love him back, so he got the blues so bad that he learned to play the instrument and go from town to town. Nope. He learned it out of necessity because he was blinded. And yeah. So that's a, a kobzar, somebody that, that's an itinerant musician. So uh, the next song is about that, and it's called... I would take the bandura and play what I know. to talk a little bit about Kobzars and then we can move on, That's take a break and then oh, yeah, come we back. Gotta, we got we to gotta find Trevor. Trevor died yeah, Trevor's uh, dead. from the ghost pepper. He's totally dead. I heard and, he's uh, in the afterlife. Yeah, we got to go to the afterlife and find Trevor. Uh, 
And uh, who knows who we'll meet on the way. Actually, uh, yeah, go grab that cosmic hand. We'll need that in a minute. Uh, but yes, yes, yes. Uh, a little more, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go find Trevor, because he's dead. That's a P. Fitz oil projection. And uh, special thanks to Reverend Bill for, uh, for doing all of the sound work tonight. Reverend Bill uh, has been the sound tech of the night, so uh, we got uh, him to thank for all this sound. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to Alex. Alex, what can you tell us? So I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the Kobzar, as the itinerant traveling musician. And if you would go on to the next slide. Next slide. Ah, yeah, sorry. Here we go. The Kobzar is, um, oh, that's fine. There's no picture. Next slide. Maybe there will be one. Yeah, there it is. So a Kobzar uh, is a traveling itinerant musician, and they were typically blind because an able-bodied Kozak was expected to be a soldier or a farmer or a tradesman or something like that. And only uh, Kobzars or blind itinerant musicians could be full-time musicians, and they traveled from town to town, and they sang our folk songs about our folk heroes, and... Um, they were an iconic part of the Ukrainian landscape. Mm -hmm. So much so that our history being what it is, we were constantly under another more powerful empire. And the Kobzars were never looked upon favorably by our colonial oppressors because being uh, blind, poor, itinerant, helpless dudes, they basically were a powerful galvanizing force for our culture because they kept our heritage alive in the folk songs yeah. and they ref they only sang in the Ukrainian language they sang about controversial folk heroes that of course our colonial oppressors would not approve of right. because they're uh, symbols of revolution uh, so the Kobzadas were so persecuted that during the 1930s uh, Stalin <clears throat> gathered a conference uh, of folk musicians, Ukrainian Kobzars, uh -huh. to sort of record their music for the Soviet Library of Congress type type deal. And uh, in fact, it was all a lie. They were all herded onto cattle cars and taken out to Siberia where they froze to death or were simply executed and dumped into ditches. Gosh. And uh, their instruments, Oof. the banduras, were destroyed. And very few people carried on the bandura as it is to the present day. So, like I told you guys before, only the nerdiest of the nerdy guys know about this. And mm -hmm. I'm one of them. But we, we value our culture so much that we don't care about getting girls. We don't care about getting a broad audience. We just want to play <laughs> the, this very historic uh, instrument. So, so it was like a battalion of Woody Guthrie's, essentially. <laughs> this, yeah. That's amazing. Josh Hebden asked if Fadir had tiny hands. If, if who did? <laughs> oh, Fader Holodnik. Fader, Fader, sorry. Oh, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> he had big feet, I guess, because <laughs> he... He's the cold because he always went barefoot. Oh boy! Um, yeah, Josh, Feder inappropriate. Um, nice. Yeah, but um, that's yeah, and, and oh yeah. Besides, if you want to be a kobzar, you have to learn how to make your own instrument. So I'm not a kobzar yet. I mean, first of all, I'm not blind. Thank goodness, I don't want to be blind. And I haven't made this. This was made by a friend of mine uh, five years ago. And he was only 18 years old when he made it. Dang. And he didn't want to sell it to me, but he was going to college, and I talked him into it. And he's uh, since he right now he's working on his master's degree in you know, in the medical field or something. But he would be considered a real kobzar, you know. And, yeah. Uh, those are just a couple of drawings, you know. You would make a sketch, and if you, you would... gouged his eyes out, you could have got it for free and. <laughs> Really? <laughs> That's good. That's a very good point. Um, and then, and and you just take a, a, this is one solid block of wood, you know? Wow, the whole thing. This, and, and the this body. whole thing is a solid piece of wood, and, and then only the top piece, the sound board, is, oh is a separate goodness. piece. Um, so you just, 
I, I remember uh, this guy, Wayne Henderson, who makes guitars in Southwest Virginia, and he made like a guitar for Doc Watson, and he said, well, it's pretty simple. You just take a whittling knife and you whittle away everything that don't look like a guitar. <laughs> well, it's with Henderson guitars, I, I have a hard time seeing that, but with Banduras, that's literally what you do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so huh. that's how, you know, I still am dreaming sort of of, of making one. Um, but yeah. One day you can. Hey, I think I think we got to go find Trevor. Uh, Trevor is is dead, and uh, boom, boom, boom. his wife. Whoa! Texted us. Whoa! She Three. said that he was in the uh, afterlife, and uh, well, yeah, we said whoa. So, uh, guys, I, I hate to, I hate to stop Alex. We'll get to see him again in a bit, but we have to uh, we have to go find Trevor in the afterlife. Um, so. We're going to grab this cosmic hand. Ah, look at this. Ah, it just a a appeared from nowhere, seemingly. Um, so uh, here we go. Uh, you want to grab this hand? Whoa! Mysterious ways. Well, I fell down the mountain, lost my faith. God wanted me to die that day, but I survived to resist the sins He creates. I have a heart, I have a brain. Sometimes it is not as it seems, because I'm addicted to fever dreams while determined not to die. Wake me up from my misery, show me what Earth has in store for me. I wanted so badly to believe in love and in deities. Then the ground was ripped from under me, angel fallen into purgatory, given Lucifer's malady. Don't think to save me, I'm still trying to fly into the sun. So the war on Icarus can be won. I have the rage of a malcontent, but I can still keep sweet promises. Never to take advantage of innocence. Don't steal my heart away. Cupid tried his best already anyway. Wanted me on my hands and knees. Oh, but I stood tall in my fever dream. So determined not to die. Planet Earth spins off its axis. The trajectory of time, pointed like a switchblade, keeps carving out lost souls. Decidedly, we have nowhere to go. Neither heaven above or hell below. God, thank you for your consideration. Now I know it's better if I just stay home. Planet Earth spins off its axis. The trajectory of time, sharp as a rose thorn, keeps us out of the garden. Frustrated, we are lost in limbo, denied heaven above or hell below. God, thank you for your consideration. Now I know what to do when in Rome. Fuck with my naivety. Open my eyes so I can see like you did on the seventh day. We are floating aimlessly now. Guess it's time for me to go back home. God, thank you for your consideration. Now I know what to do when in Rome. Tempting heaven above and hell below.
to see the oracle, is that right? Uh -huh. It's Her Excellence, the Oracle! Hey, Oracle! Congrats on saving Earth from Crab Action's green beams, my dudes. You totally messed it all up, but somehow you managed to pull it off, so I have to give you some credit. Hey, Oracle! Trevor's dead! That ghost pepper in the last episode killed him! His wife told me he's in the afterlife. I want to get to him so I can find out where he put my box of catacorn before he died. If you uh, want a shortcut to the afterlife, just whisper up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B-A to the cosmic hand and it shall take you there. Thanks, Oracle! What do you got for us this time? Can you give us some Capricorn for my boy? We are nearing a lunar eclipse and the sign of Gemini making it a great time to clean out the skeletons from your closets. Clean out the skeletons from your grandmother's basement that you have hidden there. Clean the skeletons that have been hanging in your living room long, long after Halloween has ended. Any Capricorns? Jupiter is currently in Capricorn, making it perfect for you to pop open out of your shells like the sweet little pistachios that you are and share your crunchy goodness with the world. It only happens every 12 years, so take advantage of it. And the stars have told me that December 18th is going to be a specifically significant day for you. Something miraculous could happen. You could have accomplished something really grand. Or you could get in a bar fight. Or you could gain five pounds. Maybe keep your calendar open. But nonetheless, trust your universe's guiding light. And best of luck in the afterlife, my dudes. The Cosmic hand, take us to the afterlife. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, Whoa! Trevor. Is he here in the afterlife? Trevor, you say? Trevor <laughs> is not <laughs> rear here. <laughs> Trevor has not passed like so much gas from the asses of the living. He is not due here until 2021. It says he will self immolate while trying to light his own farts on fire on the March episode of the show! Here, take these divining beans. Your farts shall show you where he is and guide the way. Your flatulence shall be your patholence. Take the beans and bean gun! Hey, thanks for the beans! See you later, butthead! Whoa! 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 <laughs> wow, we've made it back. What a journey, huh? 
We got these beans from the uh, Emperor Butt. Oh, the so. Divining Beans. Uh, tell us about Divining Beans, Blake. Uh, divination is a uh, traditional way to find uh, water. Well, well witchery. You take two <laughs> sticks. Co-host Cam. You take two sticks, and only certain people seem to be able to do this, and you, you walk a property, and your sticks will bob and weave. And when they cross and stay cross, that's where you should dig your well. These beans, however, might affect us differently. And there's only one way to find out, because they definitely aren't going to cross. we got to find Trevor. Uh, hit me. Hit me with some beans. Uh, here's hit some me with beans. Bean hit me with some beans. We're going to eat these beans. We're going to find Trevor. Oh, well. Mm. Mm. All right, <laughs> let's go see Trevor. Oh, I guess, how long do we have to wait, Blake? Like an hour? I don't know. We'll find out. I've never eaten magic beans before. Okay, let's uh, some magic. let's just let these suckers uh, kick in. Uh, we got to find Trevor in the afterlife. Uh, the emperor said we had to eat the beans and our farts would guide us. Well, all right. Here we go. The mics were off. Now they're on. Drink. Said you were in the afterlife. Oh, the afterlife, yes. Come on in, come on oh, in here. It's a little cold out there. Come on. Oh, man. Hey, oh. hey. Yeah. What's up, guys? Well, we, we were worried. We went to see the Emperor Butts, and uh, he said you weren't there, and he gave us some beans. Divining beans that made us fart our way to your house. What? Yeah, man, our asses led us all the way here. What? That's yeah. crazy. Yes, of course. The Afterlife. Oh, man. Let me show you guys. This game is unbelievable. Whoa. It's a video Whoa. game called The Afterlife. And check it out. You can even upload your face to it. What? Oh, it's insane. I've been playing this oh, nonstop ever since that last episode. That new Nintendo Genesis really slaps, bro. Oh, yes. man. They know what they're doing. Oh, boy. Absolutely. Oh, this is quite a surprise. Look at this. Ha. Ah. Hey. Wow, I might have to censor that for our show. Hey, Trevor, we got to get back to our guests. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, you coming with us? Uh, no, no, I, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the afterlife. This, yeah. Well, I wish I was you. We gotta go though. All right. Adios. She's gonna play the pro life. Play Later. It, dance. Wow, what a journey that back was. Safe. We're back. We're back uh, safely. It took Ooh. us just a second to walk back home, and uh, yeah. I promise that we, was... we both had to change pants. Oh, yeah. and shirt. <laughs> I don't have pants on. Um, so uh, <laughs> let's give it back to Alex. We have a guest here. I always uh, forget we have a guest, and uh, I'm now remembering we do have a wonderful special guest from Ukraine, from Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, Alex Lagoda uh, will uh, will 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 grace us with more knowledge about Ukraine. Uh, and grace us with some more beautiful music, um, very beautiful music. I am just so, so impressed with the sounds you're creating. Uh, and Bill Howard over there is doing a great job making them sound good with the reverb and stuff. Beautiful work, my friend. It's so good to meet you today. It's so good to hear you. We're going to have you on for another 10 or 15 minutes and then, uh, and then wind up the episode. We don't want to carry on too long. And then uh, if you so desire... We can do a live stream afterwards where you can play as long as you want. So here we go. Without further ado, uh, we're going to give it back to Alex Lagoda. Hey, Trevor's not dead. That's something I'll drink to. Trevor's not dead. Trevor's Ray. not dead. Thank goodness. Uh, I love that guy a lot. Uh, you know, and uh, if he died, you know, I'd probably, you know, I made a big deal about it, I guess. But in real life, uh, oh, this is real life. What are we talking about? Let's go to Alex. 
So I was talking about the Kobzars and that they sang about folk heroes. And the next song I'd like to play is about a folk hero by the name of Maxim Zaliznyak. And he was a leader uh, and he took from the rich and gave to the poor. Uh, if that rings any bells... Well, it's because probably most cultures had a figure like that at some point in their history. <coughs> and Maxim Zaliznyak and his merry men, they led a carefree life. They didn't have a roof over their head. They didn't have a front yard. The open step was their home, and their front yard was the Black Sea. And they did not want for gold or any other riches because they anywhere they went, they could just raid and take away and redistribute to the poor Ukrainian peasants who were being trodden underfoot of their, uh, you know, uh, colonizing overlords. And so uh, they met at a place called the Cold Ravine, where they plotted and started a rebellion, and it was successful, it? and they achieved independence for Ukraine, and this was in the mid-1700s. So that's in fact, where our band name comes from. That's where oh. our band name comes from. I just learned, that, well, it's not specific, well, I guess it's about Ukraine. Yeah, Cold Ravine is a, a place, and it's in central Ukraine, and that's where Maxim Zaliznyak and his men, they met, and this next song is called Fly, O Eagle, Fly, O Grey One, and it's based on a poem by Taras Shevchenko, our national poet, he's sort of like our William Shakespeare, and... Um, it, it talks about how Maxim Zaliznyak is like a great eagle soaring in the sky, and his men are his eaglets. And they're a merry bunch. They like to party. They like to drink horilka and dance and carry Arilka. on. But when the enemy shows up over the horizon, they know how to kick some butt, so to speak. Um, and they were uh, feared. And in fact, one of the verses says, Look out, uh, enemies who look to scavenge upon us and, and our resources like feral dogs because Maxim Zaliznyak and his men are coming down that path. So watch your back. Uh, so yeah, fly o eagle, fly o great one. <clears throat> Сизий попід небесами Гуля Максим, гуля батько степами лісами Гуля Максим, гуля батько степами лісами Літа горел, літа сизий, а за її морлята Гуля Максим, гуля батько, а за їм хлоп'ята Гуля Максим, гуля батько, а за їм хлоп'ята Хлопята за порожці сини його діти Загадають, поміркують, чи пити, чи бити Загадають, поміркують, чи пити, чи бити Заспівають, затанцюють, аж лихо сміється А зустрінуть ворі женьків карани венеця а зустрінуть ворі женьків карами венеця. О, так і я в нас отаман горел все закрили, Він рубає і гарцює з усієї сили, Він рубає і гарцює з усієї сили. Step up, Elisabeth. Hula, Maxim, hula. 
Твоя батько степами лісами. All right, so Hey Falcon. Okay, so the song Hey Falcon is known both to um, Ukrainians and Poles uh, as a, a, a traditional Cossack song. So uh, the, the Cossack is going to war and he sees a falcon in the sky and he says, Hey Falcon, send my regards to my sweetheart because I feel like I won't be returning from this particular war. Um, and I feel like I may never see my homeland again. I may never see her again. So he says, hey, Falcon, send my regards to the one I love. In fact, tell them to pour the mead, pour the wine. And when I die, to bury me, to bring my body back and bury me in, in Ukraine next to the girl I love. So, hey, Falcon. <laughs> Там, де чорні води, сіве на коня козак молодий паче жай. Молода дівчина їде козак з України. Гей, 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 соколи говинайте. Горе ліса поля доли дзвін, 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 дзвіночку. Степовий жай бороночку. Гей, 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 соколи говинайте. Горе ліса поля доли дзвін, 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 дзвіночку. Міста пови дзвін, 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 Медовина на не наливайте, На загину поховайте, На далекій Україні біля милої дівчини. Гей, 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 соколи оминайте, Горе ліса поля доли дзвін, 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 Дзвіночку, степовий жай вороночку. Гей, 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 соколи оминайте, Горе ліса поля доли дзвін, дзвін, Yes. I love that song. You got, you, do you have another song in you uh, b before we uh, uh, end credits? Or did you? would you rather run through the uh, PowerPoint or do another song? I uh, should well, do another uh, song. You guys can get on a Cold Ravine. It's Cold Ravine on YouTube and listen to our music uh, that, that we're trying to get together. We got a, some demos there, so that'd be interesting. But yeah, let me just run through the PowerPoint so that people will learn a little bit about Ukrainian Absolutely. culture. Absolutely. And, so and then do one, one more song afterwards. And then do one more song after that, please. If we have time. We, wait, wait, we, we sort of have to, we have until 930. I think we could do this. All right, oh, we can. Yeah, 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 Ukrainians have thatched house. They have those wicker fences, um, and that's just an iconic image. In fact, this reminds me of, of the house where I spent the first five years of my life. Okay. Wow. And in Ukraine, this is um, the neighboring province from mine, Khmelnytska uh, Oblast. And this castle is called Kamenets Podilsky. Oh, man. The rocky castle of the hill and valley region, which is where I'm from. Wow. And uh, these castles Learning date lot. way back to uh, medieval times when Kiev and Rus was nothing more than a confe confederation of different feudal kingdoms in the region. And the uh, Rus princes would, they would basically fight amongst each other. Uh, and also, you know, the biggest, most catastrophic thing was the Mongol invasion. Oh, Lord. And that pretty much leveled Kiev and all of you. They were also famous horseback riders and bow and arrow 
slingers. Very much so. So much so, so that the. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so much so that the Rus uh, kingdoms could not, you know, keep them out. Neither could anybody else. But, What's this? So this is a tradition in Ukraine in the spring called Ivana Kupala. Ivana Kupala. <laughs> And that, this is where they have a bonfire, and um, it's traditional for young people to uh, be around the bonfire and party. And then when you run as fast as you can and jump over the bonfire... That sounds like Hiroshi you, at Christmas you, uh, 2015. Yeah, you make a wish when you're jumping over. So, like, whatever the wish is, and, and when you jump over on that night, then the wish should come true. And this is just a, a traditional holiday... It's for all Slavic people. It's very uh, nature-based, and you know uh, the the uh, what do you call them? The pagan community, I guess, really loves sure, this sure. Uh, holiday. We uh, um, we do that in Appalachia as well. Oh yeah. It's normally a bunch of pallets, and you're just drunk. That's what her <laughs> did on Christmas 2015. <laughs> yeah, so what? it's called Ivana Kupala. Uh, this is Saint Michael's Cathedral in Kiev. Michali, Michail. Yeah. Uh, uh, my yaya always prayed to Michali, uh, angel, the archangel Michali, yeah. uh, because uh, she wanted, she said, I pray that she was a, a Cypriot woman. I pray that uh, I pray to Michali, the archangel Michael, that you find a wonderful man. She said this to my sister all the time, and she got married after that. So she, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you, Michali. The archangel of, of death. <laughs> uh, this is the oldest church in Kiev. Um, and this church houses the bones of Yaroslav the Wise. The wisest of the old Rus princes. Oh, um, man. I bet he was wise. Uh, so Probably wise. Probably called himself wise. That's how wise he was. Uh, and, um, yeah, so just go to the next one now. This is in the west. Okay, this is a picture of Lviv. And Lviv is... The most Ukrainian of all Ukrainians. <laughs> Why? Why? Because they were sheltered from the Russifying impact of first the Russian Empire, and they held out against the, the Soviet um, communist um, intrusion for a while. And it was sort of the center of everything Ukrainian. In fact, if you go to Lviv and you speak Russian, people will look at you weird. Fair um, enough. Whereas in other Ukrainian cities... You go there and you speak Russian. It's normal. In fact, it's the lingua franca of Kiev, our capital. Yeah. So, um, but Lviv is, is really very uh, charming city and very Ukrainian. Yeah. Uh, it's in the West. And it's very influenced by Poland. So, so even though they're Ukrainian, they still have a Polish, you know, little dialect going in a, much of their language. Um, in the South, we have a, a very important port city called Odessa. Oh, Odessa. Um, I've heard Odessa, of oh, And one of the artist. most iconic things about Odessa is the staircase. This staircase was featured in so many movies. In fact... Rocky 2. It was featured in the first uh, ever motion picture film <laughs> uh, for... I don't know if it was the first ever or first ever the in The Odessa in Steps. It was... Uh, it was... Um, Soviet... It was... Uh, damn, I saw this movie. What's You've it called? The, With, it has the baby space. carriage. Yep. Has the woman uh, saving the baby. It's an old um, motion that picture. movie is a uh, one. Of the, I had to watch that. It's a Soviet montage film. <laughs> uh, what was it called? Odessa Steps. Yeah. Ernest goes to Odessa. <laughs> Ernest goes. <laughs> you know Odessa, Texas. I don't know if we have any time. I looked it up. We Odessa, don't. Texas. <laughs> but go, go. Uh, it, it's not because there are Ukrainian immigrants <laughs> there. It's because a bunch of American farmers got together and said. Where in the old country do they have another place that grows so much grain like we do here in Texas? And they looked it up like on in the encyclopedia or whatever, and they, they came across uh, Ukraine. And they're like, well, what's an important city in Ukraine? Kiev and Odessa. Yeah. Well, Kiev, that, that, don't, that sounds Russian. Let's just name it Odessa, and that's it. Fair enough. No Ukrainian immigrants. All right. So I'm going to give you... Five seconds on each slide. We're going to get right. through this slideshow rapidly. Go, go, You're going to give us go, a go. rapid fire, well, and I'm going to have to drink play. so much. Here we go. Uh, Blake, can you hit the air horn? Uh, wait, do you want to finish this history or play a song? I'll finish the history. I don't, I'm not going to play a song. Do oh. both. Do both. Can you finish the history fast I and play like a, a song? I a bunch of food, dude. All right, Let's here you go, go Blake. Every time uh, he does a slide, hit, an air, hit the air horn. Here we go. Uh, five seconds. Okay. 
So the, keep going. That's just hay bales. The, uh, sunflower oil is a big export. All right. Uh, poppy seeds are poppy is everything. Okay, red yeah. and black. I mean, everywhere. Ukrainian clothing. You oh, see beautiful. It? Uh, there's po there, it's based on embroidery. Oh, okay? beautiful. And Ukrainian dance is based oh, on. Oh, I want a, to. I want to see you do that. It's called a hopak. It's based on a military exercise wow. uh, by the Kozaks. Uh, Ukrainian music. Oh, okay, yeah. Is You're very killing important. it. Um, the lira is a hurdy gurdy. It's also played by traveling itinerant musicians. The cimbali, it's a uh, hammer dulcimer, very important instrument. This is a trumpet that they blow in the mountains. Sounds a lot like Man. what he's doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that where it came this from? This is a village band. Uh, they feature accordion, one bass, oh. and anything else that you can muster oh. together. But I love them. They keep going. Okay, food. Ukrainian food includes vareniki, which are dumplings, holubti, cabbage rolls with meat, uh, olivia, which is a salad, but it's really so fatty, uh, tushana kapusta, mm. potato pancakes, oh, latkes. borscht is the number one dish ever, my favorite food. Uh, the pig uh, oh, I love features the pig. prominently Beautiful. in Ukrainian cuisine. In fact, they eat raw bacon with garlic oh, and salt. Oh, boy, I love it. Um, All right, let's I've get back to the... I've before. It was delicious. Everybody, give it up. I just learned yeah. so much about Ukraine. You saw me drinking. Now you, you guys have to drink in uh, return. Uh, we learned so much about Ukraine just now. Alex, thank you so much for sharing your heart, your soul, and your history and uh, Ukraine with us. I appreciate it very much. Can We're going to play add... a little Bandura while we read our thank yous? Oh, no, he's gonna he's gonna play one more song oh, and then we're gonna okay. do our thank yous. I want to give him a, a little bit more time. Than, Should uh, I play a, a vocal so song beautiful. or an instrumental? Yeah, vocal for sure. Vocal. Your All right, vocals so are beautiful. So this dude. song is called "You Fooled Me, You Tricked Me." It's about a guy who tries to get a date with a girl. She never shows up. He said, "You never showed up." You said, "Classic." On Tuesday, you were gonna kiss me forty times. You never showed up. You fooled me. You tricked me. It goes through every day of the week. You think the poor guy would figure it out after one day? What a Don't sucker! You? All right. Ты Ти сказала у суботу ми підемо на роботу, я прийшов, тебе нема, підманула, підвела. Ти ж мене підманула, ти ж мене підвела, ти ж мене молода посмороз посвела. Я ж тебе, я ж тебе підманула, я ж тебе підвела, я ж тебе, я ж тебе молода посмороз посвела. Ти сказала у неділю ми підемо на вісіля. Я прийшла, тебе нема. Підманула, підвела, ти ж мене підманула, ти ж мене підвела, ти ж мене молода посмороз посвела. Я ж тебе, я ж тебе підманула, я ж тебе, я ж тебе підвела, я ж тебе, я ж тебе молода посмороз посвела. Now, 
Yeah, everyone bring give it up for Alex Lagoda. One second. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Incredible. We saw shredding. We heard woes. Multiple drinks. We learned a lot. So here we go. We got to end this show. Unfortunately, uh, we love Alex Lagoda. Thank you for being here. We're going to come to where you are. So we're going to switch spots. Uh, so we don't spread corona. Let's you, you get get the heck out of there and go that way somewhere. Yes, and uh, we'll go over there. And uh, we got to read our credits and stuff. Though. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, Alice Lagoda, beautiful, beautiful music. What's the name of that band again That uh, so we can share it with everybody? Uh, it's Cold Ravine. Cold Ravine. Here we go. Blake, get in front of that camera. Let me uh, set it up. Oh, my God. It's going. Uh, I got to read from here? Cold Ravine. Make sure your microphone's on. You told me to turn it off. I'll turn it on now. Heck yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, so uh, we got to kind of move around. Uh, so uh, uh, here, here I am. Brock, it's me. Ivan, um, all right, Blake, what does that say? Gold Star uh, patrons. These are patrons who have tipped every single time. We got... I can't get out of the way. He, it doesn't matter. Just move around like a hurricane. Uh, Stefan Halodnik and Deborah Gannon and my brother-in-law, Casey Valady, have been wonderful Gold Star patrons. They have tipped a very generous amount every episode, and we want to give them all our love. Yeah! Hurts and farts. Hurts and farts. Hurts and farts. Hurts and farts. Hurts and Kelly all. <clears throat> Pretty Nicole Dorman, my roommate. Beautiful, wonderful, humane, nice person. Pretty Nicole Dorman. We got Michael Zabrek. Uh, Michael Zabrek, uh, and uh, of course we got to thank the people who make things happen around here. Reverend Bill Howard, uh, check out Reverend Bill's show on Sunday, seven to nine tomorrow night. He's uh, streaming at the Golden Pony with his band, the Judy Chops, one of the best bands in the Chop, whole earth, Chop, in Chop. the whole world. We're gonna have them on, and we're gonna, uh, well, not me. They're gonna have themselves on. And, uh, wow, I don't know what that was. Everything's uh, falling apart. Hey, and then uh, Brittany Nicole Dorman for being such a wonderful human being. She's so wonderful. Nice. But last but not least, Alex Lagoda! Oh, beautiful, wonderful man. Beautiful music. Excellent. I'm gonna Excellent. Uh, stay there, Blake. I'm right here. You, you, I know. Stay there. Yeah. Oh. oh, here we go. Check this out. Um, this is the world's best show, if you didn't know yet. Whoa. The after party's gonna take place at the Cody Henry Show. Uh, check Cody this, Henry! Check this screen out. Here we go. If you would like to be a patron of Empire of Excellence, then please donate to... Uh, where's the camera? Here it is. It's me again. Hi. <laughs> Hi, man. Uh, Empire of Excellence, go to YouTube. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. Yeah, Instagram, Jaguardini Music, Venmo. Uh, Ivan dash Christo, PayPal <coughs> Ivan C. Christo at gmail.com. Uh, write those down if you would like to subscribe, if you'd like to be a, a, a patron. We gotta go though. Cody Henry's show is about to go live. Uh, we're gonna take the after party there. It's possible. Uh, we'll talk to Alex if he wants to uh, keep streaming or not. <coughs> Excuse me. Good lord. That wasn't a fart. That was a front fart. That was a real fart. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go. Uh, fart. Uh, drink. Let's, uh, let's go. Wow, a lot to talk about. Bye! Bye! We love you! Um, yeah, where's the, yeah, here we go. Here's the end of the show. See you later. What's up, Empire of Excellence? Congratulations on another great show. And as you know, everybody, the after party is at the Cody Henry Show on the Cody Henry Show Facebook page. And if you don't show up to that after party, 